apologies for not uploading a video the past two weeks. It's been, well, just we've been super busy with work. Uh, the weather has not been really cooperative. Continuing to rain, even got snow uh, at one night. Uh, and then we've really spent the last two weekends clearing these trees that you can see behind us. We're in an, an area, this garden area up here was, was put in by a previous owner. So it's raised up and level, which is great. But that means there's a, an embankment. It drops off all the way around this area and they just didn't mow or bush hog that embankment. So pine tree volunteer sapling started coming up like you can see over here. We spent the last two weekends cutting down all those trees because they would have just obviously kept growing and during the summer they would shade they shade about half the garden and if they got you know up to let's say 100 feet tall which they can easily do over time uh, they're going to be bigger to deal with and uh, just you know more of a challenge and they would shade a lot of the garden but they were shading the areas where we needed to drive the tractor in order to get dirt filled backfilled into the greenhouse and so it was just we could not get traction. The tractor was sliding and because it was the, the mud, it was effectively mud in the shade all day long. It, it just didn't dry out. The rest of the parts that got sun did. So we decided to go ahead and just take the, the last two weekends and take all these trees down. As I've said before in, in other videos, one of the things about the farm is, is that sometimes projects just uh, take a priority and that was something that we planned to do eventually, but we just decided to go ahead and do. So that's why we didn't make a lot more progress on the greenhouse itself in the last two weeks and haven't uploaded a video. But we did get everything filled back in, we got it completely backfilled, and we got the film and for the, the greenhouse film to put over it, and we got our pots uh, to start plants in the greenhouse the parts that we did not get from um, the supplier, greenhouse supplier, uh, was the channel lock, the spring lock base and the spring locks that go into them to secure the film onto the greenhouse. Uh, we don't know where those went, so they are sending us new ones. They got separated in the order somehow. But what we're gonna be doing this weekend, finishing up is putting the sideboards, the header boards up here that the film will uh, attach to at the top. And then uh, if we need to roll up, we can. So we gotta get that done. And then what we're working on right now is putting in the, uh, digging the holes to put the, the posts in. We have some four by six posts that we were gonna use for another project and we didn't use them. So we're gonna put four by six posts in here at the ends and we already have insulated glass doors that we got at uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore to put on both ends. So hopefully uh, the remainder of today and then tomorrow we'll get much of these end walls done and also we're gonna bring, before we put the far end wall in, we're gonna bring mulch in here, uh, wood chips, and just cover the base inside the greenhouse with wood chips for right now. So that's the plan. Not as productive a weekend as we had hoped, but we did get we did get a fair amount done. We got went and got a lot of materials and prepared a lot of things for this week and what we need to do ahead of us. So one of the things that we did was went in and finally set all of these uh, metal arches, the frames. So we pulled the pipes back out. And this is something I would recommend that if you're going to use this EMT pipe. We pulled it back out, measured up from the bottom of the pipe on all of them to 60 inches. I mean, it could be whatever it is for your greenhouse, but for us, we just measured up 60 inches to give us a consistent line. Then we put them back in and measured off of the top of this baseboard 57 inches up to here so that all of them, we know that the baseboard, we, when we screwed that in, we screwed it level. So that gets us up to a level consistent line all the way down. We also went ahead and drilled a, a hole through the pipe that goes, this, these pipes go about two and a half, three feet into the ground. So this pipe goes into it. We just screwed a hole and uh, put a stainless steel screw in there to hold these in place. So we got that done. And then we started to do the end wall. So we did a, sort of a timber frame, just mortise and tenon joints on these cross pieces going across at the top and bottom so they will line up over here at the end with uh, a four by six post over here that will go come up 
and then we're going to run a four by four post across the top of these so we'll drop those in once they're in place i kind of got to get this in place to figure out the angles uh, we actually have an extra as you can see back there we have an extra one of these frames so i'll be able to set it on there and kind of transcribe exactly the angles uh, to match what we're doing going down here so we'll get that put on at the top and at that point we can run some posts from here over to here to hold the uh, panel put the panel in we're going to get it up a little bit higher set in here nicely and then we can run power out for lights receptacles down the side we're going to put some receptacles on the outside of the greenhouse on either side if we need power for any reason if we're working on projects out here in the garden uh, plus we obviously need power for the fans for the earth battery system so all of that will run across these uh, the kind of timber frame ends that we're putting in both of the end walls at this point we're still waiting on the spring lock bases and spring locks that did not come they did not come yesterday so hopefully they'll come early this week weather is not looking good for this week we got rain and a possibility of snow here in north carolina in march uh, this coming wednesday but we're gonna to try to, to go ahead, move ahead and get as much done on this as we can. And hopefully by next weekend, we're putting plastic on here, sealing this thing up. We'll have the doors in. Um, yeah, we're real close. I mean, this is kind of one of those places where you feel like you're gonna, it's gonna make some, have some dramatic, uh, dramatic movement on getting this thing finalized in the next week, certainly two weeks. All right, well, that's it. From here at St. Isidore's Farm, hope everybody has had great past couple of weeks. And uh, until the next video, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.